Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we had some technical difficulties and we are all ready to start our meeting. Uh, I'm going to call this meeting at to order at 5.14 p.m. And, and I will conduct myself the roll call. So Norma Lopez, present. Oh. Uh, Mr. Aquiles? Yeah. Thank you. Mr. Caputi? Not here. Mr. Luis Cos? Not present. Hold on one second. Ms. We can't hear you. Hold on one second. Okay. Did we get into the well? Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, can you can you say something? See if we can hear you. Yes, can you hear me now? One more time. Uh, can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. Okay, I opened the meeting at 5.14 p.m. And I called the meeting to order. And I started to roll call myself. So I started with me. Since I know Dr. Baches is going to be unable to be in the meeting. And Mr. Jose Quiles is here. Mr. Caputi is not here. Uh, Mr. Coss is not here. And Ms. Dunn. I'm here, Mr. Coss. I, oh, Mr. Coss is there too. Thank yeah. you. We couldn't hear. Okay. <laughs> and Ms. Kenson. Hello. Okay, Ms. Kenson is not here. Uh, Ms. Merlos. Here. Oh. And Vanessa Ortiz is. Ms. Kenson is here? Okay, great. Okay, Ms. Kenson. Uh, Vanessa Ortiz is absent. And excuse. Uh, it's a Rodriguez. I'm here. here. It's here. And I heard Mr. Rolando Rodriguez. He's here. Yeah, this is me. Thank you. And Ms. Sutton is not here and she's excused. And Destiny Johnson. So the number ending on three two is Destiny Johnson. No, that's uh, Luz showing. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Thank you, Ms. Luz. No problem. Okay, Sorry, so Destiny is not here. And Michelle is here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine members present. We have Chrome and we have two absents or oh, three absents. So we will move to the next item in the agenda, which is to approve the agenda as submitted. A so second. at this point, I, <laughs> I would like to present the motion to approve the agenda as submitted. And let me show it a uh, second. Open for discussion. No discussion, close discussion, roll call for vote. Norma, in favor? Mr. Quiles? Aye. In favor? I don't know if this meeting is, uh, the meeting is being recorded, Dr. Belches? I don't know if I have that option to record Hi, the mommy. meeting. Hi, dear. Uh -oh. One I'll second, let me double check. Okay. Yes. It is not recording. Oh, thank you. I will appreciate it. I appreciate it. So we will find with the minutes. Okay, I will continue with the roll call. Yes, Mr. Aquiles? Uh, could you uh, recap real quick on the recording that uh, the agenda was approved and uh, with how many votes because uh, it didn't have the recording on? Yes, uh, so I started uh, counting the votes. I just start with myself. In favor, I called you. And that's where I'm at right now. So, Mr. Aquiles. This is for the agenda or the minutes? No, to approve the agenda. Aye. So, there is a motion on the table to approve the agenda submitted. Norma Lopez present the motion and 
Mishui seconded. There was there was no discussion, and we are doing the roll call for voting. Aye. Thank you, Mr. Aquiles. So, Mr. Koss? Aye. Thank you. Ms. Dunn? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Henson? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Berlos? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Itzel Rodriguez? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rolando Rodriguez? Yes. Um, and Ms. Shui? Yes. Thank you. So we have nine votes. And motion passed. Next item in the agenda is to approve of the minutes of uh, April 11. But before we go on the motion, I would like to bring to the table that I revised the minutes of uh, April 11 and April 17 as well. Madam Chair. Yes, Mr. Aquiles. Was the motion the second? No, there is no motion on the table. I'm just making thought, a comment. I thought you said that there was a motion for the minutes. No. Okay. No, I said that before a uh, motion is presented, I would like to make uh, the LLC members aware that I review the minutes from April 11, April 17, and May 2nd. And I found a missing information. And according to the Open Meeting Act, that information should be reflected in our minutes for us to approve it. I cannot definitely approve something that is missing information and will not comply with the Open Meeting Act. For that reason, I would like to present a motion to table all the minutes until I myself revise everything and make sure everything is in order. Can I ask what was missing? Yes, uh, I can give details, but I don't want to get in there because I don't want to create any type of uh, confusion or anything. And there is missing second. Who who second the motion? Um, okay. And there is there. Yeah, who second the motion? And there is a uh, mistakes and who percent and, and who I mean. I found mistakes in the, on second motions. So to make sure that we are voting something that it's correctly according to the Open Meeting Act, I wanna revise everything and make sure everything is okay to be approved for the next regular LSE member, I mean, LSE meeting. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, Ms. Dan. Anyone wants to second the motion? I second it. Which is the table. Uh, thank you, Mr. Goss. So, Mr. Kosekin, dead and uh, open for discussion. Okay. Thank you. Now, discussion, close discussion, roll call for vote. Uh, Norma Lopez in favor. Mr. Aquiles? Aye. Uh, Mr. Kos? Yes. Ms. Dunn? Yes. Uh, Ms. Henson? Yes. Uh, Ms. Merlos? Yes. Uh, Itzel Rodriguez? Yes. Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Uh, and Ms. Shui? Yes. Okay, nine, nine votes in favor, motion passed to table the minutes until next regular LSC meeting. So next item in the agenda. It's public participation. Uh, we received an email, but this email was requested to be read by Mr. Caputi and Mr. Caputi is not here. What we can do about it, Mr. Aquiles? Can you give us any advice? Yes, uh, Mr. Walter is present if he would like to 
uh, do his uh, presentation. Uh, he could do it himself or table it for the next meeting. Go ahead, Mr. Brzezinski. Okay, he said, let me call in. Okay. So we wait for him to call in. And if anyone else wants to make a comment or or wants to bring something um, in public comments, it's welcome to do so. You can write down your name on the chat and I will call you after. School. Well, go ahead, dear. I don't think they can see you, but if you want them to hear you, yeah. they can go closer. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Ibarra. I am here for the fundraising um, for Ms. Bajo's class. I wanted to do a fundraise, fundraiser for um, to tape up the teacher. More. Hello. Um, as she said, my name is Liliana Rodriguez. We are here to address about the fundraiser we are trying to do for Miss Baggio. We chose mental health and we are also doing as well homeless youth because we will be donating to that organization because we have mixed up mental health and homeless youth together in our fundraiser because <clears throat> we didn't have an organization specifically for mental health and we chose to do homelessness youth because um, it's something, mental health is something that they also struggle with and we would like to help as well, reading the recommendations and seeing um, as much as we can help. We chose to do, um, to duct tape the principal and the teacher to the wall because we thought it would be something to include everyone, to have nothing but like happiness and smiles on everyone's faces, to create memories because this is something that has never been done before and it's something that we would like to do. Thank you to both of you for the presentation. And Ms. Biagio is here to answer any questions. So, and I see this proposal is in the, in the agenda. So if there is any LLC members uh, questions, I think we can address them on the, under the student report and the fundraising, Ms. Biagio. So we will wait until we reach there in the agenda if we have any questions. So thank you for everyone. Thank you to everyone for the presentation. We move to the next item in the agenda, which is going to be the LSE chair report. Um, the only report I have is in regard of the principal's uh, evaluation. Uh, some of the LSE members know we have to, we have to get a, gain a quorum of eight people excluding the students and the principal uh, herself. So for that reason, we were unable to conduct the evaluation and there is other steps that we're gonna take and I will keep you informed in the next months. So the next thing I have to infer to the LLC is that we're going back in person and starting June and I don't know if most of you took the trainings already. They are available on the school website, on the school website, on the CPS website, and can be done online too, and you will get your certificate. So as soon as you guys get your certificates, I might need you to forward me that information to keep it in the records. 
And that's all I have to report for this meeting. So we move to the next item in the agenda. I don't know. Somebody speak. I'm sorry. Question. When we do the evaluation, is it going to be part of the regular meeting or is this going to be a special meeting? It's usually a special meeting, Ms. Don, because most of the time it takes like at least three hours. Okay. Can we try to schedule it like further in advance um, just so that people have more, you know, time to put it on their schedules? Well, um, I think I did multiple attempts to make sure we get into the evaluation, but there are some other steps that we have to follow before that. So before that, we have to come in agreement and uh, and conduct ourselves how we're going to do the evaluation. And then we get the actual a special meeting to to perform the evaluation. And that meeting usually takes three hours. But if the LLC decides to do everything at the same time, we have to be aware that we might need at least four hours for the evaluation. So I guess, and what, we, I guess my yes. is, I know we have other, we have some steps to take before we schedule the meeting, but seeing as it's gonna be June and it's gonna be summer and vacations, can we kind of just, it's, not today necessarily, but can we plan oh, it? Oh no, it, it's going to be mostly in full. No, I'm asking, can we choose a date? I know it's going to be in person, but just so everyone can mark it off on their calendars. Uh, we cannot schedule anything right now because it's not in our agenda. And that is going to happen mostly around fall. Wow. And we're going to be in person already. Okay. So I hope I'm yeah, I hope I'm answering your question right. So any other question? She didn't understand. Okay. So we move to the next item in the agenda. Okay. So we move to the next item in the agenda. Where is teacher's report? Um, I'll get the t uh, teacher report as part of the PPLC report, if that's okay with you. Yes, sure. So you're going to do both, right? Together? Right. I'll give the information during okay. the PPLC report. Okay. Sounds good. So we move to the next item, which is the staff report. Okay, so I don't see Mr. Rodriguez. Let me double check if he's here. Uh, no, we lost him. Okay, so we don't have a report. So we move to the next item, which is athletic director report. Good evening, thank you. Um, I am Ms. Russo. I don't, I hope you can hear me clearly. Uh, I represent. Yes, yes, we do. I am speaking pretty loudly on my end. Oh, you can hear me. Okay, thank you. I didn't hear her. Uh, I represent the athletic teams, the coaches, and all of the athletes. I'd like to start with saying we are coming to the end of the spring season. By Sunday, or excuse me, Saturday, all of our spring games will be over, and we're looking already toward the fall. A um, couple of shout-outs I'd like to make sure are acknowledged. First, our track team held its second hosted meet uh, on April 29th. There were multiple teams from all over the city there. A big thank you to coaches Mercedes Reyes, Alicia Urquizo, Paul Bagdonis, and John Coleman for all their hard work. Once again, the weather was not ideal, but we braved it out. And I wanna say thank you to 
teachers, Ms. Sullivan, Ms. Dunn, and Councillor Ms. Diaz for also being out there and helping us. It was marvelous. Uh, we were and to all the security guards and other staff who were on uh, on duty that day. We made at the gate a total of four hundred and twenty five dollars, which is substantially more than the very cold meet on April 1st, where we made one hundred and five dollars. So we're very excited that we were able to bring in some money for uh, our track team. So far, they're hoping to use some of that money to purchase awards for their team. Speaking to the girls track, track team, the CPS championship was this past Saturday and our girls did very well. Jacqueline Damien came in 12th in the entire city for the triple triple jump. Uh, Timetria, I believe it's Houston, came in 18th place in the city for the discus. And Kyla Martin got a new personal record of 87.5 feet, getting second place in the entire city in the discus, which is pretty remarkable. So they did a really, really great job and we're super proud of them. And we look forward to this coming Saturday, hosting the 13th, hosting the boys CPS championships here at Steinmetz. Um, CPS is running the meet, but it is hosted on our beautiful campus. So if you're interested, please come on out. There's no fee at the gate. It's not our meet, so we're not charging for it. Please come on out, check it out, see what goes on at a full uh, track meet. We have volunteers coming out, student volunteers, staff volunteers, and uh, it should be a really great day. As we continue, we're really proud of our sports. This spring, girls soccer took third place in their conference and made it to the fourth round in the CPL playoffs. We're really excited to have had a JV program again, which we haven't had in a number of years uh, before COVID, definitely. So we're happy that we're building our soccer program again. JV baseball made the playoffs and they will be playing tomorrow at Kenwood, so we wish them luck. Uh, the varsity baseball team has its senior night tonight and they are outside playing as we speak. Girls badminton, uh, we had three qualifiers go to the city championships, Sonia Urbina for singles and Leila Mejena and Jessica Diaz for doubles. So we're very proud of them. And the girls softball team ended up right in the middle of the pack. Those are my girls, um, but every one of the girls developed and grew greatly over the course of this season. And I wanna say once again, if I haven't said it enough, a big shout out to the parents, not just of softball, but all sports, but specifically the parents of the softball team have stood stepped up in a way that I could never have imagined. They came to every game, home, away, they made sure that we were, uh, that we were able to transport our kids when the buses didn't show up. It all worked out beautifully. So I wanna say thank you to them and we'll be celebrating uh, that later on in the spring. I've started having weekly AD meetings with AD admin meetings with Mr. DiCarlo and Ms. Pierce. Mr. DiCarlo and I have met twice. We've gotten some good information flowing. And so it's good to be able to talk with the administrative team and make sure that uh, any questions are not sliding through the cracks and that we're getting everything taken care of. We did submit some requests and proposals for fundraising for next year, but apparently there was a little confusion with those. And so I'm going to ask respectfully that those uh, documents, there are five of them that were shared, that were emailed, that they be carried over to the June meeting because we do wanna make sure that all of our fundraising opportunities are um, on schedule for, this, for the fall. Fall season opens August 7th through IHSA. So we really wanna make sure through the website, through any communication, all of the fundraising opportunities that we're going to have in place for next year, including pay to play and uh, snap raise. And lastly, uh, we have a large number of coaching vacancies. This is happening citywide. We just can't seem to get people who want to coach. It's a large responsibility, but we are definitely looking, especially, and I'm gonna throw this out there, uh, we need a cheerleading coach for the fall. We're looking to fill our football coaching staff. We need a, an assistant boys soccer coach, a sophomore girls volleyball coach. And we are still looking to start swimming back up because we have a beautiful pool, which we used during the lock-in and it was a great success. 
So we're hoping to find swimming coaches uh, so we can resume our swim program and hopefully in the spring of next year, water polo as well. So we are actively seeking coaches. If you know of anybody, <laughs> send their names my way. Um, I have sent out uh, multiple emails to the staff looking for teachers and staff members first, but we hope to fill those positions soon. And those are all of my announcements and I thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Russo. Uh, you mentioned uh, you gained uh, $105 on April 4th? April 1st. Oh, April 1st. I write it down wrongly. And $425 on? April 29th. Oh, okay. I hope you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Thank you for all the work you do. And thank you for the teachers are supporting you in the uh, sports. So we appreciate your efforts. Thank you. Thank you. So we move to the next item in the agenda, which is the student report and the presentation of the fundraising uh, was already given by the two of the, our students. And we have a uh, Miss, I am so sorry. I saw your line, Miss Baggio. So as far as I can see is a, uh, uh, selling price per one dollar and five dollars. Mm -hmm. So there is a projection or how, on how much money you guys are uh, expecting to collect, because I see the proposal on paper, but I didn't see that part, and I don't remember. Hi there. Um, this is Miss Baggio, the uh, sponsoring teacher. Um, projection for what is the fundraising amount? I would project at fifty dollars. Oh, okay. Thank you. I don't know if any other LLC member has any questions on to Ms. Biagio. What actual? Uh, hi, this is Luz. Um, may I ask a question? <laughs> hi, Luz. Yes, go ahead. Um, what organization of, for homeless youth are you actually giving the money to? Yes. Or is it one student? Uh, yes, the organization is called Cradles to Crayons, um, mm -hmm. and they provide items like clothing, toys, supplies, etc., to homeless youth. Thank you. Sure. Mr. Aquiles? Yeah, was this uh, passed through the uh, principal? Um, Dr. Vilchez has um, approved and is participating in the fundraiser herself, yes. Thank you. Any other question? Okay, no more questions. So I would like to present a motion to approve this fundraising for okay. mental health. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I think I heard Ms. Don and Mr. Cos. Yes, 50-50. Okay, so I think ladies first, right? No problem. So Norma, Norma present the motion to approve this fundraising and Ms. Don second. So open for discussion. No discussion, clause discussion, I, I we'll go for vote. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. This is the time. I'm just trying to be a little cheeky here, but I think we can raise more than 50 bucks for putting the principal on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I but, hope so yeah. too, I hope so Yeah, too. no, I think the kids will get really excited about this and I hope we can raise some good money for them. I hope so too, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Maybe we might need the information to collaborate, right? Yes. So I don't know if Ms. Biagio can uh, let uh, Dr. Butchers know that maybe some LSC members are interested to collaborate in this fundraising and and we can get access to the information and know how to do it. Yeah, um, I would love to collaborate with anyone who's interested here. Um, I'll put my email in the chat. 
Um, and if anyone okay. would like to participate in this event or um, be involved in it at all, you can certainly email me. Um, and we can work together to get taped up to the wall. Man, I think we could really make this big, guys. Like, we could, yeah, I, I would like to participate. Okay, Mr. Yes. Key, let's go ahead. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, madam. I'm not on the uh, e I'm not on the spot. Uh, I'm on the phone today. I'm sorry, I can't see if you send the um your email address. Oh, um, if you have a piece of paper, I can spell it out for you so you could write it down if you'd like to do that. I put it in the chat. Hey, get I don't know if you can see yeah. that. Yes, yeah. please go ahead. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's E, B as in boy, A, G, G as in girl, I, O at cps.edu. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Uh, Mr. Aquiles? Yeah, I, I heard somebody say put the principal on the wall. Could you explain that? <laughs> Yes. Um, so the the fundraiser is basically that um, students will be able to purchase a length of duct tape, a short length of duct tape for one dollar, a longer length of duct tape for five dollars. Um, and when you buy the piece of duct tape, um, all of the students are working together to um, tape Dr. Vilchez to the wall. Um, Dr. Vilchez has completely um, opened herself up to this. She is aware of what that means. Um, and she has uh, volunteered herself to be taped to the wall um, as part of trying to get kids to get behind, you know, fundraising for a good cause. Um, so I, I hope I'm explaining that clearly. But yes, yeah, students will buy pieces of duct tape. Um, from my students who are working on this project and piece by piece duct tape Dr. Vilchez to a wall. Any other questions, Mr. Aquiles? <laughs> I mean, uh, is this physically taping her to the wall? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. So that is the, um, that's the idea here. She gets duct tape to the wall. Of course, we're going to take her down when it's done. Okay. If she's all for it, then she, yeah, she, she has volunteered for this. She, you know, has, has signed up for it. So she's, she's aware of, of everything. Okay. So any more questions? Okay, no more questions. Class discussion, roll call for vote. So myself, yes. Uh, Mr. Aquiles? I guess so. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Koss? Yes. Ms. Dunn? Yes. Uh, Ms. Kensen? Yes. Uh, Ms. Merlos? Yes. Um, Itzel Rodriguez? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez is not here. Um, and Ms. Showy? He, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight votes in motion passed. So next item, I, I'm sorry that I'm running a little slow today, but I'm multitasking. So next item in the agenda is back report. Back. Okay, so we have no report. We move to back report. Okay, no report. We move to PPLC. Ms. Dunn, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Um, the PPLC met last week. And um, the following resolutions were um, discussed. Um, uh, PPC is asking that Dr. Bill says share um, the information that was gathered from the two teacher surveys that were given this year. 
for example, uh, what was the purpose of the survey? What was learned um, from giving the surveys? And how that information will be used to improve climate and culture? And the second uh, resolution is that teachers would like um, a specific date for, de for determining a tardy hallway policy effect next year. Um, they would like, teachers would like an opportunity to review and offer feedback on the policy before being uh, published and sent home to parents, students, staff, teachers in the community. And that's it. Okay, thank you. I have a question and it's in regard of your agenda. So I saw the agenda on the door but the agenda didn't specify the items you guys were going to discuss. That's the usually way you manage your agendas at PPLC. Um, and that is my question. I wasn't at, I was, uh, I had a personal business day. I wasn't at the meeting last Tuesday. Um, but I think okay. the reference to the items on there um, that have been brought up about the uh, hallways. So I think that the um, the tardy and the hallway policy, and I'm not sure, like I said, I wasn't at the meeting. I think that was on there. And in terms of the um, the surveys, I'm sorry, I can't speak to that. I wasn't I wasn't at the meeting, so I apologize for that. But no, that's okay. It's just I mean, it's just a question that came to my mind. Because, yeah, because according to the Open Meeting Act, when we post an agenda on this uh, door or the school for, I mean, for an open meeting, uh, we are supposed to state what we're going to discuss in our, in our meeting. And I, I get so curious because it was, I mean, it was an agenda, but it didn't specify any item that we're going to be discussed at the meeting. Okay. I and... I mean, technically the public, I mean, because that way technically uh, the public technically doesn't know what you guys discussed. And I don't know if you guys address yourself to the Open Meeting Act as the LSE or any other uh, committee in the school, right? So no, that, that that's why I'm curious. I don't know. I know we usually do follow our agenda very closely because I chair the meetings. Um, right. And we point by point what's on the um, agenda and that's it. I can only not speak to it because I wasn't at this last meeting. But at every other meeting, yes, only the items that are on the agenda are addressed according to the open meeting there. Okay, I have one more question. So, and you guys, when you guys meet, you vote the agenda, right? I'm sorry, could you say that again? When you guys have your PPLC, PPLC meeting, you vote the agenda. Yeah, we approve the agenda. Yes, did you approve the agenda? Absolutely, yeah, just like we do in the LSC meeting. Uh, there is a chance you can forward me your minutes from the past agenda, because I'm not understanding how the PPLC is running a meeting without specifying the items in an agenda and how you guys vote that. So I would like to understand a little bit better PPLC. Okay, so, so if you can forward me that information, I will appreciate it. You want from the last meeting? Yes. Just the last meeting, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and I have copy of the agenda was posted at the door, but I would like to see, uh, I would like to receive a copy of that agenda. Okay. So is that supposed to be that one? It was posted on the door. I'm sorry. Never mind. I'll make sure um, I get a copy and forward it to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So we move to the next item in the agenda. Give me one second. So next item in the agenda is uh, CIWP. I don't know if any uh, principal assistant is going to do a presentation. Oh, 
Okay, so we have no report. We move to the next item in the agenda, which is principal report. I know she logged in to let us in, but she is busy with the chief. So I don't know if anyone has her report or she is able to present her report at this point. Okay, we don't have principal report. So we move to the next item in the agenda. Oh, we have the LSC fundraising accounting report for seniors lock in. I don't know if anyone has, uh, can present that to the LSC. Mr. DiCarlo, can you hear me? Oh, no, Mr. DiCarlo is no longer in the room. Oh, thank you, Ms. Russo. Uh, okay, so we cannot go over that item either. So next item in the agenda is uh, proof of the internal accounts. So we don't have the internal accounts. We move to the next item which is all business. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Aquiles. Madam Chair, since we don't have a, an internal account, I would like to present a motion uh, to table the approval of the internal account for our next meeting. And we should do the same thing for, for the uh, fundraising because I know she is not gonna be able to join us. Okay. Because she's in a meeting with the chief. Well, can I present my motion and then uh, you move on to that? Okay, please. I would like to present a motion to table our internal accounts to our next meeting. Norma will second. Okay. Open for discussion. Okay, now discussion, class discussion, a roll call to vote to table the internal accounts for the next regular LSC meeting. So I will do roll call again. Give me one second. So myself, yes. Mr. Aquiles? Aye. Uh, Mr. Cos? Yes. Ms. Dunn? Yes. Uh, Ms. Kenson? Yes. Uh, Ms. Merlos? Yes. Etzel Rodriguez? Yes. And Ms. Shoei? Yes. Thank you. We have eight votes. And motion passed to table the internal accounts for the next regular LLC meeting. So at this point, I would like to go back in the agenda and to table the fundraising for the next regular LLC meeting. A second. Thank you, Mr. Aquiles. Open for discussion. <laughs> Okay, no discussion, clause discussion, a roll call for a vote to table the fundraising for next regular LSC meeting. Myself, yes. Uh, Mr. Aquiles? Aye. Uh, Mr. Koss? Yes. Ms. Dunn? I abstain. I don't see anything on here about that. I'm you didn't see that in the agenda? Okay, that's fine. So let me, Ms. Don Epstein. Okay, uh, Ms. Kansen? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Merlos? Yes. Uh, Itzel Rodriguez? Yes. 
And Michoui. Yes. Okay, so we have seven votes. And motion didn't pass to table this fundraising for the next LSE meeting. Thank you. We move to the next item in the agenda, which was all business and the bylaws. So I send the bylaws to to legal department, and I haven't received any any response back. So I will continue to to inform you what's next, the next step for the bylaws. And the next item in the agenda it was principal's evaluation, and I already covered that in my report. So with that said, we don't have anything under new business. And we just reached the end of our agenda, which is any final thoughts, any, anyone has anything to say at this point? The floor is open. Okay, so I just have to say thank you so much for being here. I know on personal levels, a lot of us are um, facing a lot of challenges, and I appreciate you are here, um, giving your best for our school community and at the end for our students. And thank you for all the stuff that that's a marvelous work every single day to make sure our students will pursue the higher education. So I hope we can continue working together and make sure assignments moves forward after all the darkness we have faced as a school. With that said, I would like to present a motion to adjourn this meeting at 6.06 6 p.m. Second. Thank you, I think that was Ms. Hansen. Yep. Thank you. So open for discussion. Now discussion, clause discussion, roll call for vote. Myself, yes. Aye. Mr. Aquiles. Mr. Koss. Yes. Ms. Dan. Yes. Ms. Kensen. Yes. Ms. Merlos. Yes. Thank you. Um, it's at Rodriguez. Yes. Ms. Shui? Yes. Okay, so we have eight votes in favor and motion passed and our meeting is adjourned. Thank you to everyone who joined us today. We hope to see you next regular LLC meeting, which is going to take place, place on June 13 in person. Um, Imam Naron is going to be in the room 121. Thank you, Have. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.